This is a Dunelt motorcycle from, um, well certainly pre-Second World War and Dunelt originally came from Sheffield as a steel company from what I've read up on the internet and um, then they later made motorcycles in Birmingham and this this here is one of them and it's got a very rare Sturmey Archer engine and gearbox in it which I've rebuilt and of course there's no such thing as a Haynes manual for anything like this so it's been a bit of a jigsaw really but I've got the engine all in one piece now got all the valve gear on it and operational um, the first attempt the decompressor which or exhaust valve lifter wasn't doing anything because uh, the exhaust rocker that I had on it was very worn there and uh, it wasn't sort of reaching down to the top of the valve stem far enough for this little mechanism to put any weight on it and luckily in among all the spare bits and pieces there was another exhaust rocker so um, I swapped it that's the one that I took off I might just be able to see that one in there uh, let's see if I get some light on uh, you can see it now perhaps anyway basically the foot of the rocker that makes contact with the tip of the valve stem was very worn so <clears throat> it was having to move beyond the reach of that little cam to crack it open see it was already about there so the valve lifter wasn't even having, wasn't even making contact with that end of the rocker at all so luckily the second rocker that I fitted sorted that out and um, I'll just back it up a little bit there we are we can just see the inlet valve if I put this torch for a minute we might get a bit more light on the subject than the camera can pick up yeah let's try that now then see turning the engine backwards right so going forwards we're coming up to compression turn it forwards inlet valves closing pistons on its way up let's see there it is right. it's difficult to see right hopefully camera might pick that out but the piston is at or around top dead centre now so that'll be compression turn it forwards a little bit more pistons going down it's fired there you are the exhaust valves opening now nicely yeah now it's closing the pistons coming up to the other top dead centre where the valves should be overlapping exhaust valve is nearly shut they are the inlet's just starting to open that's what we want Come past top dead centre now it'll be sucking the charge in inlet valves closing again now for compression and there's the piston back at top dead centre so let's like say all the internals are in place in that engine now and mechanically it's ready to go um, it was quite a fiddle putting this lot on but it's there now anyway so really all it needs now is a magneto and a carburetor um, obviously it'll need an oil tank and connections to and from it there's the engines oil in and out ports there um, but it's come along pretty well and I've had the gearbox in bits as well totally stripped and looked at and that's all okay it's a three speeder so the mechanics of this are sort of by and large mainly done now and uh, it'll be time to speak to the owner again I guess and see where it goes from here I, I don't think I'll be doing a full restoration of the whole bike I think he's got someone who's more of an expert on this particular mark than me to sort of do the rest but at least I've done the engine and the gearbox which are the bits that I enjoy doing and I've also actually worked on the wheel spindles and the hubs and bearings and converted them to accept modern bearings so um, I'm quite happy with the input I've had on this one and um, I think I've done 
almost about as much as I can do with it really. So uh, that may well be it for me.